Okay, here we go. Mario 2, Mario Madness, we're back. We had a, uh, temporary layoff there. Got laid off my job of playing Mario and turning 40, I guess. But, uh, look at that. Look how quickly we and easily we navigated that little thing. We're back, and I dare say better than ever. I did think about trying to play this at some point and record all of the locations of the potions um, so that I could do all these like and get the maximum coinage and also uh, you know not like not basically pull up a potion when the you know I've just also pulled up all of the uh, plants but I was like not today because here's the deal I decided I'm not close enough to like being able to beat this game that I'm I'm at that stage yet. Do you know what I mean? I'm not at the level of like, well, if I wasn't wasting potions and I could get the maximum coins, I'd be in good shape. Also, to kind of go along with that, um, I sort of figured like that what I really need to do is uh. I sort of figured that I need to A, get better, but also B, I was like, I kind of need to figure out how to um, beat the, the, the game, the slot machine. Like, I need to figure out how, how to make the most of that and success on it. And then I can probably, um, ah, shit. Because as it stands, I'm probably getting, like, one in five anyway. So, I mean, that's not terrible. But if I could get, you know, one in two, and then I was getting ten tries per level, I could get, you know... You can do math. You can do that amount of math. I mean, maybe... See, like, right then, I should have taken that up to that part, right? I could have gotten a lot more coins. Ah. It just does seem like there's ample opportunity to get extra lives in this game. Um, for an enterprising person. So although the game is fairly long, it does, it does give you some relief in that way. Shit. That was like a perfectly timed jump, Birdo. Ow. I didn't know that would happen. Plunk. I played this on Super Mario Deluxe. And it seemed like uh, this was a little easier. Like it didn't go quite as fast. <laughs> And then I was like, maybe you should play Mario 2 on Mario Deluxe. But then that felt like a violation of the goal here. But yeah, see, this is just like I'm back to my old thing of just like, let's just get through the bonus chance as quickly as possible so that you can uh, be done doing it. Because it's just basically eating up time. Because you're not going to get any extra guys. Pum pum pa dum, pum pa dum pa dum pa dum pa dum pum pum pa la 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 la. Um, I I'm gonna confess something to everybody right now, which is that I did watch. So, a video just happened to come up on my feed that was of a guy, um, basically going through Mario. I think one, two, three, and Super Mario World, and doing it as fast as he could. Probably because you know how these things work, where it's like. Uh, your phone is like listening to everything you say and so it was like oh You know what we could do Peter is humiliate you by showing you One guy doing all the games and doing all of them in like a half hour um, So I did watch a portion of the Super Mario 2 section um, Because I was like I'm just I was curious what I'm in for 
And it looks like I'm in for a lot. Um, so I am, I am concerned <laughs> about uh, this, because, like, it, I watched... I'd heard the last level is long. And boy, was that confirmed. Uh, the last level was not long. It was extremely long and looked very difficult to me. Um, so I was like, well, shit. Uh-huh. Um, so I don't know. This could be tough. I don't know if this one's going to be easier than the first one. I, I really thought it would be. Um, I think just because I felt like I was getting further in this game than I was in Mario 1 as a child. But now I'm not so sure. Because, like, t you know, I would... I could probably play... So, you know, playing Nintendo with siblings was always a thing of, like, at what point do you have to, like, let your brother play? And we would just always go oldest to youngest, so I was in the middle. And, uh... You know, usually what we would do in a game like this is you would play until you used up all your lives, right? So I did feel like when I played this game, and <laughs> I remember watching this part too, uh, when like my brother would be playing and I'd be like, God damn it, every time he got an extra life, because I was like, well, that's another 10 minutes away from me playing. And you know, like, God forbid I do something while he was playing. I, mean, I couldn't, like, read a book or something while he was playing. I would just sit and watch him play. But, I mean, that was probably the best way for me to potentially learn how to play a game or get anywhere in a game. Anyway, I would watch, I would watch him play and get real frustrated. Um, but, so, a, a game like this, you know, I would be better off playing a game like this than playing the first game... Because if I played the first game, um, my turn probably wouldn't last super long. You know what I mean? It would probably be okay. Um, but if I played this instead of that, I would probably have a longer turn. Now, I, I wouldn't finish the game, but I'd come much closer to, you know, having a turn that was like maybe a half hour instead of a turn that was ten minutes. And so, you know, in some ways, that was certainly preferable. Different games had different advantages that you might not have expected. Damn. Damn. It was like, you know, when you're a kid and you're playing these games, you're looking for different things out of them. And I guess at that time, I was often looking for... Whew. Shit. Looking for the ability to play a game that would last a long time. And that was, you know, a factor. Whereas now, that's not really a thing, right? I mean, you're an adult. You know, something good about being an adult, it's not all bad. Like, the one good thing is you don't have to take turns with anybody on Nintendo. You can just play Nintendo all day. I think that's, like, the irony or the shitty part of life, though, right? Is, like... Once you're an adult and you could play Nintendo all day, you don't really want to anymore. Maybe that's maybe that should be what I'm trying to do here. I'm recapturing my youth, damn it. My youthful exuberance for something like... Because if someone had told me, you can play Nintendo all day today, you're going to have no brothers and sisters disrupting your, you know, your runs here. That would be pretty exciting, to be honest. Um, and like now that's not like a thing, not just because they can't disrupt me, but because like, you know, now I guess I would probably rather play with like my brother than play by myself, which is horrible. Like what, what have I become? What kind of monster have I become in my elderly years here? Ah, shit. Like, this would probably be more fun with my brother, to be honest with you. 
But, you know, it wouldn't be the accomplishment. That should be a thing, though. I should be able to be like, I can have my older brother come and beat the really hard parts for me. That's kind of like in the spirit of playing Nintendo, right? Having your brother beat the hard parts for you. <laughs> Pinkalinkaling. Right. This, like, uh, bonus chance game just looks like root beer branding. You know what I mean? The colors and stuff. And the, the fonts. Someone decided that every root beer should look like it was made in 1918 or something. I feel like... Maybe this one had something? No. Fuck it. I don't care. I know I like went through most of those one time playing through and was like, there's like barely anything in these. So, I'm just gonna assume that that's the case. But see, that would be a good thing to map out, right? Be like, okay, you want to go in jar number X, Y, and Z. Because there's an extra life or some coins to be had or something. Shit. Oh god. That was horrifying. That guy like started vibrating. Like he was like, no, please, help me. And I just... What could I do? I guess I could have picked him up and saved him. But would he have done the same for me? Fuck no. So I did watch the speed run and was like, oh shit, this is going to be more challenging than I anticipated. Oh god. Um, <clears throat> oh god. However, I didn't watch any of the parts that like I've actually played so far, just because uh, I didn't, I didn't want to get any tips that way, because I felt like that was unfair. That was against the rules as I establish them for this game. So I, I probably shouldn't do that, but... I don't know, if things take a dark turn, it's possible that I'll end up doing that. Whoa! Look at me go! Um, yeah. I don't want to say it's impossible that I'll... You know, it was funny because I was thinking today about playing... Super Mario World, which I haven't played in quite a long time. Um, and Mario 3, which I haven't really played a lot, because I think I played that one a lot as a kid. And liked, but, you know, of course never finished, because it gets pretty hard. Um, and I was just kind of excited to play more Mario games. And, you know, I was excited to play, like, uh, Mario 64, weirdly enough. I mean, that was one of my favorites. And, uh... Super Mario Galaxies 1 and 2, which I think I still have. I hope. I didn't know at the time when I got them that I would be doing this, so... It's possible I, I like, sold one of them. Because, you know, one lesson that's impossible to learn, even as an adult, is that you shouldn't sell your games to GameStop because... Whatever they're going to pay you, you'd rather have the game. Like, believe me. Uh, oh, good, good choice. Now I can't tell when I'm going to spring up. Um, believe me, everybody. You would rather have the game later. Because what they're going to pay you is not enough. Shit. Perfect example of where that would have been helpful to 
to know. Um, but yeah, they're... Oh, fuck. They're not gonna pay you enough. This can't be an extra life still, right? Yeah. Whoever programmed that knew what they were doing. I guess it makes it imp I want there's gotta be a place in this game that someone like messed up and it's possible to farm lives. I just feel like with the amount of stuff that's in this game Whoa, that guy just goes away. The amount of stuff in this game, somebody must have forgot one part to be like, oh shit. You know, we forgot to code in that that's supposed to go away or something. I just feel that way. Based on nothing. But yeah, it's kind of funny to think about, I guess, playing games that way, where it's like the economy of how much time it'll take you, how much time you'll get out of one play of a game was like such an important factor as a child, and now it doesn't matter, but back then it was like, I don't want to say it was everything, but it was something. It mattered. Um... I guess just other weird economies about video games existed too, like in buying a video game. I mean, I didn't really buy them, you know, because I was a child, so it's like you don't have money. But as like uh, a game designers, I'm sure they were like, well, we got to make sure there's enough of a, a game in here that, um, hey, all right. That, you know, they don't beat it in after having it for a day. And that makes total sense. However, I feel like the way they did that was by making it challenging and sometimes unfairly challenging. Um, and, you know, by, like, making it... The, the classic Nintendo... Wait, I have to go all the way back? Thing? Um, seems to be a way they did it a lot. And, you know, it's weird that some of that... I feel like some of the... Okay, I remember this being worth trying to get up there. How did I do that before? <laughs> Shit. Okay. So anyway, I feel like some of those things stuck with, you know, game design for a while of like, well, if we make it hard, or you know, like, games have to be a certain length so people don't feel ripped off. Which I think is, has changed with things like, you know, Steam. Because then it's like, I, th I think people are okay with much shorter games if they're like, well, I mean, it's shorter, but, you know, it costs 17 bucks instead of 60 so, you know, it, if, we, if I think about paying, ah, oh shit, paying to play a game, you know, per time amountage or whatever, this is actually well worth it. Um, I'm getting basically four dollars per hour or whatever, dollars of enjoyment. Um, I'm getting the same thing. And I think that's part of it, too, is, like, the idea of dollars versus enjoyment. Um... Because at some point, you know, you'll be playing a game, like, uh, if you play, like, a Gears of War campaign, oftentimes there are sections that I'm like, I mean, I could have done without this. You know what I mean? There's just certain parts that you're like, you know, I didn't really need this to feel like the game was complete, and it kind of feels a little, to me, like, filler. 
and I don't need it. Like, if you're putting filler in the game, you've got these great set piece moments in the game, but then you've got this other stuff that's just filler. You can just leave it out. I don't need it. And just, you know what? I don't know, just put on the box or something on the back, be like, hey, we had a much, uh, a little bit longer game. Or maybe do a game mode where you're like, are you the kind of person who's gonna get all pissy with us because the game is only eight hours? And I'm like, I am not. If it's eight hours, all killer, no filler, as they say, I will be fine with that. Eat these stupid snakes. This guy's a little bit challenging. Whoa! I didn't know those would block that. Meh! Fuck. Budge. Ba -dum -ba -dum. <laughs> okay, I did um, come up with a plan. So upcoming, there's a section where I have to take a key, and it's difficult. And uh, I did learn from a friend of the show, Brian. Hey, Brian. <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, luckily for him, I think he was old enough that, you know, he probably didn't get a ton of that. Because it wasn't like he was in school. High school the whole time. Anyway, um... I learned from friend of the show, Brian, that if you throw the key down, the mask does leave you alone. So I think if I take it a little slower through that part and just, like, am willing to throw the mask down, or the key down, I think I can navigate it without getting killed by the mask. Um, that's my plan. That is my new strategy for that section, so maybe I'll actually be able to finish it. I do remember playing this game and getting a sense of, like, height in the game. Like, in other words, in, in the first game, you know, it was, it was fun and everything, but I never felt like I am a million feet in the air, and this game, sometimes I feel like I might be a million feet in the air. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Fine. You know what? Fine. You know what? Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, this game, I, I sometimes was like, man, you have to climb, like, really high, and do some other weird things like that. I remember this also having a worthwhile... No. No! Great. Would have been handy to have that TikTok thing too, huh? This is the, uh... Super Mario Brothers 2 item that TikTok is all about. Oh shit. I'd forgotten my hard won lesson that you can't duck under those eggs, which I knew and had tried to drill into myself. Ah, boo. Boo. 
See, I mean, going into like World 3 2 with 12 lives feels like not bad. You know what I mean? And maybe that's the thing too. Maybe the trick of the uh, the slot machine game is that you know you just have to have like as many shots as possible. <laughs> like maybe that's the quote-unquote trick. Is that there is no trick? Well, I took him down with me. That's something to feel good about. Um, maybe that's the trick. Is that there is no trick? It's like, look, this isn't going to be something that. Uh, necessarily works out for you in any way it's like you just it's random chance so if you have 30 random chances uh, you're much better off than if you have 10 oh god oh god oh god didn't anticipate they could okay this is going well this is a funny part about playing video games that I've discovered, you know, in this project, but I've always known it in life, and every anyone who's played always has known. It's like, when you play, there's always gonna be parts that, like, never really gave you a hard time before, that suddenly give you an extremely hard time. For no apparent reason. Oh. I need to figure out what causes that to happen. Because that seems like a handy thing to have every so often. Ah, yes. It's like how... how... How confident are you in your skills is what that tests. Ah, oh, shit. Not confident, and I was right to feel that way. interesting the choices to like to put that guy right there because you're like I mean this guy's probably not gonna kill a lot of players but he's gonna fuck up the occasional player right I mean like me you know it'll it'll fuck up the occasional me style player who's just not uh, incredibly good at this game <laughs> to put it one way being be, I'm trying to be kind to myself sometimes, and, you know. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay. Yes! I do feel like I saw, um, in the person, like, speedrunning this game, and it was, like, not, like, you know, the speedrunning that I, I like to watch is where they actually just play the game. So, I mean, you can use stuff like warp zones or whatever, but I don't like when they do, like, magical glitches where it's like, oh, you make Link jump backwards ten times and then, you know, you magically are in the next level. Um, he played Mario 64 that way. So it was like, you can, if you remember in the castle in that game, there's like an endless staircase that just gets longer as you try to go up it, basically. Um, fuck. And, uh, you know, he had a way of jumping and jumping and jumping until he, oh, that was unfortunate for them. Um, just continually jumping until he was able to 
get up those stairs even though he had no stars and because that game you know doesn't require any kind of like uh there's no what's the word i'm looking for it's not like upgrading your character or anything you have this exact same abilities and stuff at the well as far as the boss fight goes i should say you do get some other things in that game um but the way it works is you earn other what is in this door Um, you earn other abilities that help you through the game, but you don't need them to fight the boss. So you can fight the boss as the Mario you are at the beginning of the game. Um, so that makes that a game where you can... Hmm. See, now I'm pretty sure I can make that jump as Luigi. I wonder if that's like a shortcut through this level. If only I'd known. <laughs> Fuck. Good thing I laughed. It's okay, I don't need any, uh, you know, amount of life for this part of the game. Um... But yeah, I like the non-tool assisted speed runs, I think they're called. So it's like, you don't use like a, you know, you don't have the game hooked up to a computer, I guess. Listen to Grandpa talking about how the kids do it. Um, you don't have any special, like, glitch enabling things or whatever. Like, you just kind of go for it and play it. So like when I watched watched him do the the Mario one and he did that on Mario 64, I was kind of like, eh, I don't love that. Because it's like, well, you didn't really play any of the game. And I guess like I'm, I'm open to like warp whistles in Mario 3 and stuff like that as far as speedrunning a game. But I, I think there should be more like, oh fuck. More speed run types where it's like, yeah, I'm trying to actually play the game, you know, instead of uh, just whatever it takes. Can I oh my gosh. Oh no, I'm stuck. I meant to throw that significantly further. plan seems to be working so far. Oh, I feel like the hearts come from killing bad guys. This, this went much better than my previous attempts. Which isn't saying a ton, because my previous attempts were very bad, but... This was only kind of, kind of bad. But that seems like a very, uh, a very reliable way to get through that part. <laughs> it's to throw the key away. It's very slow and steady wins the race and everything, but I guess that's okay. Poink a poink a poink. So this is definitely a part I've struggled with. I don't know if I've finished this part yet. I don't think so. Whoop. I warped once to level world four. Level world four. Um, but I don't think I've ever actually done this the correct way to get there. Oh yeah, okay, so that would have been the door. I believe that uh, I would have gone through if I had super jumping power. So I can bypass a pretty good amount of that level. This seems so harrowing. Oh, fuck. I hope I start there. Oh, fuck. Ah! 
Now I kind of want to go up, though. Because I'm like, what's up there? And I haven't finished this the other way, so maybe I should try this, right? Ah. I don't like that you can go sideways off the ladder like that. Okay. So again, I guess you could probably get up there with Luigi, huh? So this would be probably a good level to use Luigi skills. Level 3-3, three, three, I think this is. Good to remember that you could skip a lot of the worst parts of this by making a wise character selection. <laughs> I think I've been this far. And I don't know if I've been further than this. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, okay, I have been this far. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This nightmare. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. There's just so much shit happening. one of those classic Nintendo so much shit on the screen moments. That can't be worth it, can it? I mean, it can. Hmm. It's like I want to save this as long as humanly possible. That was the ladder anyway, huh? I think I'd gotten that far. Now that I'm, like, looking back at it. Don't remember this. This seems like something I haven't done. Alright. Did I do it? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay, this guy, I think, can get blown up by that, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I'm like, just let that happen, and then that way... We can eliminate one threat. <laughs> it's funny, too, because, like, um... I do think being older... The advantage you have in the game is that you're more patient. Like, I think that's how I ended up finishing Castlevania, because I was like, I need to treat each, each, like, enemy and each pit in this game as kind of its own distinct puzzle to be solved, right? Instead of trying to, like, run through, which is, like, kind of what your instinct and, like, it's like what the game drives you to try to do, I think, is, like, just, like, go balls out and see if you could make it. Um, but that, that doesn't seem to work. And so I feel like an advantage to playing this as an older man is like, well, I have some level of patience now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna oversell it here and pretend like my patience is higher than, uh, an average 12-year-old, but higher than mine at age 12. Ah, come on. Little bastard. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> What a fucking nightmare. What do you think these little snow guys would have, like, better... Oh. Would have evolved a better grip on their feet? Ah, shit. 
This is the other tough thing, right? Because you're like, at some point, I think what's going to happen is even if there are still potions, getting the potions will cause me to have to accept an amount of risk that sort of negates the benefit of the potion. Um, that's my suspicion of what will happen before, before much long, maybe it already has happened. I mean, I managed to get that one. And it wasn't the, the trying to get the potion that fucked me up. <laughs> Just my general level of play. Uh, however, I think that's what's going to end up happening in this game. Like, I know there's a level later in here where there's the whales. And I think there's a part in there where I suspect it's like, ah, if you, if you managed to carry the potion, you know, through this sort of series of things, fuck, um, you would end up benefiting more, right? There's like a bunch of these that you can get. But the doing that is like, you know, high level challenge, at least for me. And so it's like, well, you might be, you, you might end up losing more lives than you gain, especially because it's not like every coin is, I don't know, a 50-50 shot of getting another life. It's more probably like a, oh god, uh, maybe one in three? Hmm. Good thinking. I just need to stop ducking. There's no point to it. It's not a, not a reliable tool in this game. I remember that section being very challenging as a child. Like, that was, I feel like, the point of the game where I was like, you've overreached your boundaries, Pete. Like, this is it for you. This is where you, uh... Well, it's about, it's about time to turn it back over to your brother. And of course it would come to an argument at the point of continues as well, like... Okay, does my turn include continues? So like, if I'm playing, my brother's waiting. Do I get three continues? Or do I just get, you know, the one continues worth of lives? Well, you committed to not ducking, Pete. It's official. <laughs> Fudge. Fudge. I don't know if we ever really officially established, you know, like, the rules of continue versus not continue. I think my opinion on it would be, at this point in my life, would be like, you should get to, uh, continue. Um, or maybe it should depend on, like, how long the one set of lives is. So I feel like a half hour-ish is a fair turn. Now parents out there, if you're trying to figure out your video game, your kid's video game playing time schema or whatever, don't, don't time them for a half hour, because that's not, that's not cool. Because they're going to end up being in places in a game where they're like, well, shit, you know. If I play Mario for a half hour, as we've seen, Mario 1, um, I won't be at the end, but I'll be close. I see, my invincibility destroys the whale spout. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Tun tum ba -dum. I like the rocket ship. It's just something I dig about that. That's like a thing someone- Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, double fuck. Cool. Very good. See you later, loser. Mm. <laughs> oh, 
on the ice. Oh my god. This is unfortunate. I don't know if I've been this far. Whew. I don't distinctly remember fighting that character on the ice, but that could be one of those things that I did before, and it was fine. So I didn't take much uh, notice of it. Yeah. All right. All right. See, it does make me think maybe it is worth it to figure out where the potions are and where I should. Oh, I did do this. Damn it. You can. I'm assuming there's no reason for me to just not escape. Oh, okay. That's right. All right. I remember. <laughs> yep, okay. That's it's okay. Perfect example. That's where I need to take that potion. <laughs> okay. Um, new Super Mario movie coming out. And I feel like I remember that that character shooting the eggs, Birdo. There was like some weird thing in the instruction manual for this game of like, Birdo is like, I don't know. Maybe transgender in a way that we didn't exactly have the language for that we have now. I suspect that that won't be an issue in the movie. I'm guessing that that won't be something they tackle, but who knows. Would be uh, kind of hilarious to find out that they were like, so this Super Mario movie is going to be a journey to the center of gender or something. Not because I'm like, Ooh, it's funny that people have these problems, but just because it's like, I don't think that's what anyone would be expecting. I feel like people are ready to shit on it for reasons outside of that. I don't know, it's a little weird to me that people are so, like, ready to shit on the Super Mario movie, because I'm like, you know, I mean, the one that we got in the 90s, it cannot possibly be worse than that. It just can't. Like, at least this one looks like a Mario game. You know what I mean? Plus, it seems like kind of a no-brainer in a way, because it's like, well, you know, uh, it, it's CG, and if any, any entertainment product is going to be, like, all CG'd out and shit, it might as well be something that is, you know in its normal form is CG'd out, so like, why not in this form? Like, in other words, when it's a game, it's CG, so why not when it's a movie, right? Just like, go a little ways, throw a little ways. Go a little ways, throw a little ways. Oh. This seems safe. But, you know. Boy, have I been fooled before. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Interesting that this is a fire guy. I, if you'd asked me to predict... Okay. Hey, this is a big moment, everybody. For my, uh, my playthrough of this game. I haven't uh, fought this boss. Hoping that it's... Oh, shit. 
Boy, I might need a better strategy here. Does he come up here if I stay up here? Or does he just always do that? Kinda comes up here. Oh, that's the, that's the move, isn't it? Damn it. Okay. Got a couple shots here. Now I've got... I think I've got the move... The, the technique here, which is using your Pac-Man uh, tunnels. Yeah, okay. Yes! Hey, alright! We've made progress! Ooh! Look at that! Not only did we make it to... to World 5, but we've got 6 lives and used no continues. That's pretty good! I'm quite proud of me! It's not something you'll catch me saying very often, so, uh, don't get used to it. Okay, this is already... Uh, they're just throwing it at you, aren't they? Ah, shit. Should've used that ostrich. Oh, look at you, Pete. Look at what you just did. <laughs> that was awfully close to running off the cliff's edge there. Mmm! This might take some thought. How do you get on this Swiss cake roll? And then this... Okay. Oh my god. This is horrible. This is so stressful, because I've never, like, seen this. Any of this. I hate it. Oh, man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Kind of wish I'd known what I had done here, but... Woohoo! button, I think. I'm a b-boy. Oh, well, okay. That kind of worked out. Oh, crap shit. Hmm. Can you get up there? I bet it, oh yeah, if you jump on that log, maybe. Damn it. a good example of just going for it instead of carefully planning.
Damn it. That was a lot of losses. It was a lot of do-do-do-do-do. I kind of wish you could switch characters, you know, without... Like, okay, if I die with Mario, if I could switch characters, that would be awfully nice. That would be a way to make some kindness in this game. In this cold, cruel world of the mushroom... Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit! Suck on that. Ah! Oh, most unfortunate. <laughs> Sometimes I fantasize that whoever designed this game is like watching, watching me play, and they're like, that's exactly why I put that thing there was just for idiots like him. And, you know, it's, that's like a low percentage thing. It's not going to get a lot of players, but it's going to get some. And I just saw it get one. So I'm pretty happy about that. Do I want to admit that I almost did it again? Of course not. What do you think the chances are of this being another bomb man? Oh, maybe I should have thrown that on the bottom. What do you think happens? The bomb will still be here, right? Oh, shit! I'm guessing these hedgehogs cannot be jumped on. Um, what the fuck? That just vanished. That, that's not right. Whatever just happened is not right. Morally. Oh, no. Just go back up on there. You're fine. Fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. Do not like this. Well. That would be a lovely aid in my quest here if only... Man, did you see that one go sailing off? Turnip or whatever that was. Turnip. Okay. Run, run, run. Damn, damn, damn. I was just talking about how this game has a real sense of height to it, so... This seems like... Okay. Fine. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Now we're in, like, Mega Man territory. Where it's like, well, you kind of got to know what's coming, don't you? <sighs> bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Hate it. I hate it. No. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, this feels like the point of the game where they're like, well, let's not have them go into the next part with too many lives. You know what I mean? That would be tragic and 
terrible. I guess I'll just do that for fun. <laughs> I guess that works. far enough away if that fish comes back. Can't really do the uh, cascading thing with the eggs, can you? for that. Okay, here we go. I was fully expecting to get killed by that fish right then. To be completely honest with you. Didn't like my chances. Hey, we're at 5-3. It was a, not a bad effort for Pete. Another Luigi thing, maybe. Ugh! 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 <laughs> ah! <laughs> so many bombs! So maybe I can hitch a ride on a bird or something, but. open that up, you open it up to something bad. that was showing me, hey, you can use these to plug these holes, and that can be really nice for you. Hmm. 
wise use of these things has been quite a uh, helpful thing for me. There's a weird little game mechanic in this game that those Pac-Man doors. Oh no. You. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh my gosh, do I have to make a carpet to carpet leap? Is that what's happening? No time. Well, it seems like you could make it here on the one carpet. Now I wish it would go away. Fucking hell. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it's my last shot here. The controller just stopped working. <laughs> oh god! Why? Okay, here we go. It's weird that it remembers also the uh... Clang 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 clang. Okay, I think I can just make it. Does that seem outrageous to anyone? Yeah. Maybe that's the way to do it. Ah! No! Pete. What the fuck? We've talked about this. Well... I don't know, do I want to do these continues? Do I dare? I mean, it's been an hour, and that's about my, uh, my time limit. TBH. Look at that. What skill. Six extra lives will do me just fine. Don't mind if I do. Why not make it six? Seven extra lives. Yes. yes. Hopefully that was the correct one. Fuck. Look at that. Boom. Another duck. Good one. It's okay. Made for a good, uh, we made it. We made it through. That's what's important. So it'll say extra life too, because I guess it's counting the one I'm using right now, right? Is that how this works? Okay. Well, we got one. 
One out of seven. I should keep track of, like, you know, my, my stats on that. Just for funsies. Although that seems like the opposite of funsies. Okay. I don't remember what happened here. What? I'm sure this ostrich hurts me, even though that seems tremendously unfair. Good one. Fuck you. Okay, let's try this again. Because last time... Something weird happened. Ah! Maybe you gotta take it out of here or something? Take it up here? Do you think it comes back? Probably doesn't come back, right? Doesn't seem like the potions tend to come back, but we might as well take a look see, huh? Whoa. Damn it. What do I do with that potion? What is that potion? What's the trick? Can I, like, take it out of here? Is that possible? Shouldn't be, right? Oh, maybe I have to do it with this timer? No. There's not enough time. Maybe I can take it out. I mean... There's no door. Fuck yeah. I know an expert player would have, uh, you know, taken the chance to get the extra coin because an extra life is more valuable than a, uh, uh, heart or a mushroom, but you know what? I think we're, I think if you're at this point in this series or even just this individual video and, uh, you're not aware of the level of my play yet, there's something very wrong with you <laughs> that I can't fix. You're on your own. I don't know why those guys get me so often. Ah! Ostrich revenge. jump up like that. I don't know how I did that. Don't expect to see that move again. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry that this is slow, everybody. This is what I'm gonna do, because it's safe. Oh, <laughs> see how safe it is? <laughs> see? Idiots. Oh, okay. Here we go, then. <laughs> Ah. 
I don't know why that's challenging. That's one of those things that doesn't look like it's challenging or that it should be. But it's kind of challenging. It's kind of a little bit challenging. Ah. Oh. oh shit. I think 5-3 I was like, there's a Luigi part. Damn. Damn. Ouija come, Ouija go, huh? Come on. Come on! <laughs> I know I'm missing things, but I think this is the way for me to do this game. I think what I've done here is correct. Gotcha. Those guys really turn around fast, huh? On a dime, if you will. Okay. This is a, a good example of a portion that I'm like, I think I could see myself having trouble with this. Fuzzy. <laughs> Jeez. The tension. The tension in this room. Sometimes those things happen too and you're just like, is that just to fuck with me? Because it really seems like it is, but, you know, I like to believe the best in people. I wonder if I could do a slide trick through there. I don't really need to. Couldn't throw that for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so that's not possible. Bye. get like a last shot at you, doesn't it? That's kind of like... I can definitely see that hitting me and just being like, damn it. I thought I was gonna get away with it. Okay. Can you time things in here? No? Okay. Alright. Wow. Mmm! Come on. Tiny tambourine splendor. Go on a carpet ride. This whole new world.
What the hell? I think I'll still have to fight a boss, probably? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Didn't like my odds there. Can I catch these? Pick them up? Is that the way? Is that the move? Can I get past him, do you think, and pick up his rocks? That's a no. Can't be on top of him. Hmm. There's a matter of technique here that I'm not sure I understand. Fuck, now I gotta do this again? Fuck. You know what? I think that's gonna be good for today. But, uh, look at that! World 5! Almost World 6! There's just a real crabby asshole <laughs> that I gotta beat. And I'll be in World 6. And then, uh, then there's just one world in World 7, I think. Or two. Two levels, and then, then I'm there. So you know what? This is progress, guys. This is what progress looks like. I'm a very progressive person. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>